Hi and welcome to another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing. Today we're going to be talking about the solar that we had put on our camper and we're going to let you know how it's going so far. Are you going to say so stick around? <laughs> Should I? Sure. Is that kind of like hokey old? No, old say school? it. Say it. They're waiting. <laughs> We're going to have Dan Hemming uh, come on to this episode a little later on. He is the solar power guru. Um, but before that, we just wanted to go back and tell you a little bit about how we came to this point. Exactly. So there's kind of a backstory to this. And Dan is in that backstory as well. Um, when we first started out as RVers, we had no idea about anything with solar. None. We still have no idea about anything about <laughs> solar, but now we have, now we know with it we don't know. But now we have Dan. Now we have Dan. <laughs> and other people and who other know. other people <laughs> who know. So we went on the road and we uh, told a dealership that we wanted some solar and they said, well, what do you want to do with the solar? And we said, well, we want to be able to charge our phones and our laptops. And we had talked about this a little bit in a previous episode, but now we actually are making it happen. Yes. Yes, we didn't necessarily know that uh, we needed all of this solar because we didn't, you don't know what you don't know, right? Right. So we didn't know that we wanted to be out camping in a certain way. Right. We thought state parks, we thought campgrounds, we thought, yeah. you know, you plug in. Places where there are hookups for right. electricity. <laughs> right. So um, what we had put into our RV at the dealership, and we love this dealership, it's Niemeyer's up in, uh, up in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. um, we had them uh, put in 350 watt, three 150 watt um, panels on the top of our camper, and then they put in a 1500 watt inverter, and then a controller. And we quickly realized that that wasn't enough when we rolled into a um, campground, which is a pseudo campground set up for solar people. Yes, well, we did try it one other time when we were, I wanna say we were staying at a, a Harvest Host. Mm -hmm. And I remember trying it out and uh, Dave wears a CPAP at night and it's really important for him to have that on and the thing cut out in the middle of the night. So yeah. that was our first clue that um, we probably need more solar power. Right. We had a backup battery too, but we really didn't want to count on that. That was more of just for major emergencies. Right, and then so, you have to charge that. You have to charge that. So what are you going to charge that with? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we rolled into this area and uh, we heard some snickering as we pulled in and they looked at our three 150 uh, solar panels and we looked at their um, entire roofs, roofs, roofs full of solar panels. <laughs> yeah, and they were nice enough to um, bring over some ground deploys so they had extra solar panels that they could just set up on the ground for us, hooked us all up, and that helped us tremendously because the other thing that we didn't really know was that in the winter time in Arizona, the <laughs> sun isn't as high and it's going to go down quicker, so the solar panels we did have were not getting up to capacity anyway. Right, so we talked to Dan and we said, what do we need to have happen um, in order for us to be able to live out here without worrying about our batteries dying in the middle of the night? And he put together um, a little package deal for us and uh, we're gonna have him explain that now. Okay, now we're under the rig in the front of Dave's uh, fifth wheel. We're gonna start with the components that we installed. So first we have three Lion lithium batteries, UT1300s. These are 105 amp hours each. So he has 315 amp hours of usable power. We put in two Victron smart ch charger controllers, a 130 that has the 450 watts on it and a 150 that has the 840 watts on it, giving him a total uh, 80 amps of charging capability. We've got the Victron Multi Plus 3000 and this is powering one leg of his 50 amp RV and it's an inverter charger, so it also charges the batteries when he's on short power or generator. It's also load assist, so it can, if he's on a low power hookup, maybe a 15 amp hookup at a friend's house, he can dial it down and not blow their breakers and his batteries will assist if he 
pulls a larger load. Uh, the Victron distributor, Lynx distributor, something I like using in my installs because it brings all the wires together in one location. Everything is fused in here. There's four fuses. Um, the four out wire, we've got some six gauge wire going in. Everything is fused. Sitting behind here is the shunt. This is where, this is how the system knows um, what the state of charge is of the batteries. And in this case, he just has a smart shunt. There's no gauge to it. It's Bluetooth only. And he uses his phone to connect to all these devices in here. So he can see the battery monitor, he can see both charge controllers, and he can see the inverter all on his phone. And then of course the main battery cutoff. And then up here at the top, we've got a couple breakers just for the solar panels coming from the roof. So we can cut them off for maintenance or other things. And that kind of wraps it up. Nice clean install all in the front. Thanks, Dan. And if you want to get in touch with Dan, he is at rvsolarconsulting.com and he can uh, definitely take care of you there. Um, it's changed us in the sense that now we can boondock and we can be out here for a lot longer. I love the fact that I can run everything. So now, you know, driving down the road, we don't have to use our propane for our right. refrigerator. We have that on electric and I can run the microwave. That's been huge, just being able yep. to run that microwave. Um, your CPAP, charging, everything that we need to charge, and of course all of our lights and mm -hmm. the pump and right. uh, everything that's running off of the power of the sun. Right, and before we had kind of a rough idea of how much power we had left and how much power we, we were using and now all we have to do is pull it up on our smartphones and we can see 24 hours, how much we've used, how much we're using, the trends, the history, everything, mm -hmm. right on our phones, and that's really handy. That is, and Dan got that all set up for us mm -hmm. as well. So, um, you know, he's been absolutely wonderful, and we're very, very happy with right. what we have now. And like Dave said, the ability to boondock, uh, right now we are in the Yuma, Arizona area, and we're just parked here. No worries. We're just parked here. We're doing our thing. We're yeah. running our microwave and refrigerator and Well, just... not right now. The microwave's not running. <laughs> we don't run it just because we can. <laughs> true, true. And just a quick a quick note here too is we are not sponsored by um, RP Solar Consulting <laughs> or Dan Hemming. He just, we like working with them and, and, yeah. and he did a good job for us. So we just, um, and he knows what he's talking about. So it yeah. makes it easier for us to shoot this video with him. We trust him. Yep. So um, we would highly recommend him, uh, but we would also recommend that you decide what kind of camping you want to do. Um, we put, you know, a decent amount of money into getting equipped for right. solar, and so we also had to know that we were not planning to sell our RV anytime soon. We right. love the one we have. Um, we have the Grand Design Reflection 260. 260 RD. 260 RD and we have no plans to change it. No. Uh -huh. So yeah, you kind of have to know, get out there, figure out what kind of camping you like to do. Right. You want to be in an RV park or do you want to boondock just wherever? Right. And, and kind of what Jack was talking about is what we did and the mistake we made is we added a little solar. Yeah. And then it's not like you just add a couple bushes in your front yard and you can always add more later. This, we sort of had to back up. So we had purchased things that wouldn't work with the big system. So we ended up yes. spending more money yes. than had we known going in exactly how much solar we wanted and then had done it the first time. Right. So true. If only we had watched a video like this before and had the name of, you know, yeah. Dan's company to be yeah. able to go RV to that. RV Solar and... Consulting. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. Um, but, you know, it, that would have been nice. So we're just kind of trying to give you some advice that uh, you can you can take yeah. and, you know, for, for what it's worth. So yep. um, we're glad that we finally found him. But yes, we got solar put on that maybe wasn't what we, well, it wasn't what we needed. Right. <laughs> we thought it was what we needed. Yeah, yeah. but it wasn't. Wasn't. Live and learn. But, but now, here we are. So, and uh, this is our plan. You know, we want to do this as much as possible, right? I mean, that's my plan. Is that your plan? It's my plan. And the cool thing, if you think about it, is that solar is one of the few things that you pay for by using it. 
Mm -hmm. So for every night that we don't stay in a paid park, that we stay on BLM land, we're getting that money back. BLM land, Harvest Hosts, uh, we, we have several different um, apps that we go mm -hmm. to. Campendium has free camping on there, mm -hmm. so. Harvest Hosts, we do pay though, in a way. Because we're well, you're wanted, you're kind no. of expected to buy something, right? Yeah. Right, but that's also something that you're going to use, like right. a bottle of wine. Correct. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> a bottle of cider. Okay, I sit corrected. Farm fresh eggs. Farm fresh eggs. You can't beat them. Uh. <laughs> yes. So if you have any questions uh, about this episode, uh, let us know um, or reach out to Dan. Yep, and we'll put the. Um, <clears throat> the gear that we bought in the show notes so that you can okay. you can look that up too good idea well thanks for watching another episode of the border hookups Squarving, and please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell so that we can let you know as to when we have more episodes coming out and if you liked what you saw in this episode please give us a thumbs up uh, let us know if you have any comments um, let us know if you have any questions or what you might want to see for a future episode and we hope to see you out here. We'll see you out here. Do you think they know that I'm sitting on two pillows right now <laughs> because my chair that I bought is so low? Why'd you buy a low chair? Mine is like the Easy Rider low chair. <laughs> the Easy Rider? Do, 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 is it really do, called do, that? Do, 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 is it really called that? Low Rider. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I sat in this thing and it's... Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on a sit and spin. Well, I have the uh, 3XL chair. <laughs> the lifeguard <laughs> series. Right I weigh like 135 pounds and this chair is made for uh, up to 300 pounds, but I like it a lot. I hope so. I like that it has a tray. I like that it's sturdy. I just, I like to, you know. Comes with a whistle and sunscreen for your nose. Right. 17 pillows I'm sitting on right now. <laughs> That's okay. Usually we have to adjust the camera so much because you're so much taller than me. Yeah. So now I get to be tall. And handsome. Don't forget handsome. You're much more handsome than I am, yeah. yes. Well, the pillows help. <laughs> oh, I'm just glad you shaved today. I know. Finally. I know. I was running around in my workout shorts with a white head of shaving cream and I think you may have seen the neighbors <laughs> calling the police. <laughs> And we're I'm, right in the proving grounds too, so they may have seen me as a target. <laughs> so we're going to have Dan Hemming, who is the solar power guru, uh, come on this app episode. <laughs> Applesauce? Appetizers. Are you going to say, so stick around? <laughs> Should I? Sure. Is that kind of like hokey old? No, old say school? it. Say it. They're waiting. <laughs> I'm going to come up with a better line. That's a pretty good line. I like it. We do, don't we? Mm -hmm. Good decisions. Let's go run our microwave. <laughs> okay.